we're going to start to use quadratic functions to do application problems with height and instantaneous velocity. So this little lesson is just to give you an idea how to create the equations themselves. Um, my function, f of t, is my height. The first derivative of that is the instantaneous velocity. We will be using both of those once we get into applications. But the quadratic itself, at the bottom of the screen, I have this function. In front of my t squared is a negative 16. That will remain a negative 16 at all times because that is gravity in feet per second on Earth. The coefficient that's in front of t, this is what's considered the initial velocity in which an object is either thrown or launched. The plus and the minus in front deals with direction. So if I'm going to launch something upwards, I'm going to use a plus. If something's being thrown downwards, that's when I would use a negative. The very end, my constant in this function, this is the height in respect to ground level in which something is launched or thrown. So I'm going to go through a couple examples that you can see this. Okay, my first example at the top, a rocket is launched into the air at 150 feet per second from the top of a 30-foot platform. So my function for this would be it's going to start off with the negative 16 because that's gravity on Earth in feet per second. Since this is being launched at an initial velocity of 150 feet per second, and it's going upwards, I would use a positive 150, and that's multiplied to my variable t. And then last is in respects to ground level. Since I'm at the top of a 30-foot platform, I'm above the ground level 30 feet, so I would use a plus. Second example, a baseball was thrown downward at 40 feet per second from the top of a 300-foot building. So my quadratic's going to start out the same way. My direction's now changing. Since it's being thrown downwards, I would use a subtract. The initial velocity in which it's being thrown downwards is 40. Since I'm above the ground level by 300 feet, my constant would be a plus 300. Okay, third example deals with free fall. A coin's dropped at free fall from the top of a 50-foot building. Since I'm not applying an additional velocity to the object, that would just be a zero. And it doesn't matter if it's a plus or a minus in there. I am above the ground level, so that is a plus, and I'm 50 feet above the ground level. Or in other words, my quadratic would be negative 16t squared plus 50 for the third example.